Well, now, wildlife experts in Kent are caring for dormice at risk of dying in the cold winter weather because they're too small to go into hibernation. They're among Britain's most endangered animals, and as Dan McLaren reports, the South East is their last remaining stronghold. Check her teeth, they look fine. Inspecting a litter of dormice rescued from the winter. This year, because of the late mild autumn, many dormice had a second batch of young which wouldn't be able to hibernate. So this wildlife centre near Canterbury is doing all it can for a protected species. Most of our dormice are actually fast asleep outside, um, underground, but the animals in here are all orphans uh, or underweight animals from this year that have to be looked after because they're not heavy enough to hibernate. That's about 15 and a half grams, so that's very good. She's actually put some weight on. The young are weighed often to check if they're growing. All 20 brought to the centre were found to be underweight and they're being fed a special diet. And the centre's work with them doesn't stop there. We're keeping them all through the year because if we let them hibernate they'll unfortunately die. So we feed them up and then they will have babies next year and we will reintroduce those babies across England to sites where they've gone extinct. The mammals are one of Britain's most endangered species and Kent and Sussex their last stronghold. It's hoped through the use of nest boxes they can gradually be reintroduced to the Midlands and Northern Britain where they've suffered habitat loss in recent decades. Dan McLaren BBC South East Today, near Canterbury.